What is up guys? This is Billy coming at you guys with a sort of a redo video. I guess you could call it a redo video. I was very, very, very unhappy with how my previous dual PC streaming setup video was. I felt like I wasn't clear enough on how it actually works. So I'm gonna simplify it, maybe even make this video shorter, some better quality hopefully, um, and give you guys a better example of what I do. Even a better alternative for audio, which I found without having a mixer. So yeah, let's get right into this, guys. So here is where all the magic happens, right here. Here is the setup, boys. We have 1080p 60 hertz monitor here, 1080p 60 hertz monitor here. For the streaming PC, we have this big old 40 inch uh, TV, LED, 1080p 60 hertz. And then for my main monitor, in which I game on, I have the Asus ROG Swift PG279Q at 165 hertz. Now you're like, yo Bill, how are you doing a streaming PC setup using an HDMI capture card and still achieving 165 hertz in your gameplay? Well, my friend, I will, all will be explained in the video. All will be explained. So here, start off small. Guys, I'm gonna pop up pictures of everything that I use so you know what I'm talking about here. I have an Elgato HD60 Pro capture card, the PCIe card in my streaming PC. Down here, this is my streaming build right here. This does all the encoding. And this is my gaming PC, which does all of the gaming. By the way, I ordered a new face, or a new uh, side panel. I actually got uh, the one with the bigger window because I actually like that. And there's not really a need for a side fan. Personally, I feel. I feel there's no need for a side fan. It like, doesn't make that big of a difference in temperatures. So uh, yeah, let's get into how this all works. So basically, HDMI in on my gaming PC GPU, which I'll be upgrading to the GTX 1080 classified soon. I have the 980 Superclocked ACX right now. HDMI on the, G on the uh, gaming PC GPU goes into the streaming PC capture card, the Elgato HD60 Pro, inside here. Now I would pull it out if I didn't have everything configured and it would unplug shit and just fuck me up. So <laughs> I would just, just use, that, use the pictures as an example. GPU of the gaming PC into the HDMI in on the streaming PC's capture card, the Elgato HD60. There you go. So basically guys, you're probably asking yourself, Bill, how do you go about getting the signal? Because, you know, HDMI only supports 60 hertz. How are you gaming at 165 hertz if HDMI only supports 60 hertz? Well, funny you should ask. So this monitor right here is going through DisplayPort, right guys? These three monitors are hooked up to this baby right here. This is the only monitor it's hooked up to my streaming PC because I really only need one monitor for it. So let me get into this for you guys. Alright guys, so, you're going to want to open up NVIDIA control panel. And boom, we're back. Okay, NVIDIA control panel is open, and the Elgato is right here. Now guys, the Elgato is working as a fourth monitor. So I have these three displays, along with the Elgato, which is plugged in through HDMI on my streaming PC. So on my gaming PC, the Elgato is actually popping up as a fourth monitor. So... You're probably like, oh, I have four monitors here, what do I do? Well, you click on your primary gaming monitor, which is this one right here, my ROG PG279Q, and you're going to right click, clone with, and then clone with the Elgato, which in this case, the Elgato is three. So right click your main monitor, do clone with, and then choose the number the Elgato is, mine's three. And once you do that, it clones, and it'll scale it down to the resolution that these match. Now you have two options here. You can game at 60 hertz at 1440p if you like, or you can game at 1080p 165 hertz. Really, I care about hertz a lot more than resolution really, because games still look pretty amazing in 1080p, especially on this display. So basically once you clone that, you are good to go. Everything that's happening on this screen will happen on the Elgato HD60, which I will now show you on my streaming PC right here. So let's open this up. Oops, I opened up Game Capture HD, whatever, that'll do. 
That'll do just for an example. And here we go. We have Game Capture HD running. And, you know, if you want to, you see it, everything that's happening there is happening here. So what you do is you right click, you go to display settings. Let me pull that up right here. Okay, display settings. Now you have this, it says one, it says, it's like cut in half. It's cloned right here. One, your Elgato and your main display. You go to advanced display settings. You're gonna choose 1080p. I do not recommend going to 1440p just because things get a little buggy, doesn't really work as well. So just stay 1080p, you'll be fine. And then go all the way to change adapter settings. From there, go to monitor, screen refresh rate, 165 hertz. There you go, click okay. Apply and okay, and you're gaming at 165 hertz along with streaming through the HDMI clone source at 60 hertz. So that's it for the video. Now, audio, okay guys, audio. So basically for microphone, microphone audio, it goes into the, the speaker port. I have a 3.5 millimeter jack going into my green port. It's not really green on mine, but the green port of my gaming PC, all the way down to the streaming PC into the mic port in the back. That's the pink port for most uh, towers. So from the green speaker port into the red or pink mic port on your streaming PC. Now, guys, I use a program called Virtual Audio Cable. You can get it. There's a bunch of ways to get it. You can buy it or, you know, I'm sure you can figure out a way of how to somehow get it for free. I didn't do that. I definitely didn't do that. Okay. So from here, guys, you're gonna open up the audio repeater, which comes with a virtual audio cable. You then select your microphone, which in my case is line one, since I use, you know, uh, Adobe Audition to compress my audio. You select your microphone for the wave in, and then the wave out you're gonna set at to speakers. So your microphone is gonna go to your speaker port, which will then be transferred to your streaming PC's mic port. Then you click start, and bam, you can hear me. Everything I say is going through my speakers right now. Bam. So there. And then on your streaming PC, we're gonna open up OBS Studio. Here we go. Pay no attention to the webcam because I actually use my GoPro as a webcam, which I will get into. There's no webcam here right now because I'm actually using my GoPro to film this video. So, let me show you your option to select your mic. You're gonna go to your sound settings, go to recording devices, and then you're gonna choose your default microphone. Right here, set that as default. You're gonna want that, guys, if you're gonna want that. I don't know why my webcam set as default, fuck that. There we go, perfect. And now, everything, as soon as I press start on here, on my gaming PC, you can see that everything is being picked up right now on my streaming PC. So that's how you pick up your microphone um, well, my way to use one microphone on two PCs for your dual PC streaming setup. That's the way I do it anyway. Okay, now audio for your video games can go through HDMI, despite what a lot of people think. It, yes, HDMI capture cards do work to pick up audio. So let me just show you guys in OBS exactly what I do to do that. I have my source here. Of course, this is uh, considering you have a... Uh, basic understanding of how OBS works. See, I have the Elgato Game Capture HD selected. Have it set to the default 1920 by 1080 at 60 FPS. And then I do output desktop only, or output desktop audio wave out. Then click okay. And then any audio that's coming through your capture card will be picked up on your streaming PC, which also gives you, you know, if you have an Astro A40 headset with a mix amp and you have like me, you have all of your audio sources plugged into it all at once. See, I have the streaming PC, you know, my TV, my gaming PC all plugged into the mix amp so I hear everything all the time, which is just fucking great. I have my Xbox plugged into it. It's it's a lifesaver, honestly. I'll probably never go away from Astros unless something comes out that has better, you know, sound quality and supports uh, multiple sources like the Astro A40 mix amp does. So yeah, um, from there, any audio that gets picked up 
from this PC will now be broadcasted onto this PC and you'll be able to hear all the sources as long as on this PC. You right click when you're ready to stream and go playback devices. See Elgato right there? You set that as default. Then you will be able to hear everything. Then when you're done streaming, just fucking do that if you're gonna have OBS closed. Switch back to your normal source. So yeah, that takes care of that. Now guys, as you see, I have a ton of different alternatives to, uh, to use uh, if I don't want to have a mixer or some side of sort of audio interface. Uh, I figured out a lot of loopholes and you know, like uh, what do they call it? Like uh, shortcuts in order to achieve, you know, my quality on OBS as well as gameplay quality. So I re received no hit whatsoever. Even in the toughest games, guys, uh, you do receive some sort of a hit depending on your build. Um, especially if you're trying to stream, um, you know, even 1080 quality or even 720, you will receive somewhat of a hit. If not like a crazy hit, you will receive somewhat of a hit. But us being, you know, people who play games, uh, we don't want to have anything uh, stopping our gameplay or, you know, throttling our gameplay in any way. Uh, this also helps, you know, the load on the CPU as well as the GPU from time to time um, from when I'm streaming by having this set up. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. Hopefully it's better in my other video. I feel like this might have turned out better in my other one. Let me know if it was helpful. Um, you guys have any questions, please leave me the link below. I'm trying to get back into the groove of uploading every single day uh, or almost every day, you know. Uh, if you guys have any ideas for videos, please let me know in the comments below. I'm looking for ideas for videos. So uh, I'll always take your guys, and, um, you know, options into consideration. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hopefully this was helpful. And uh, yeah, adios for now, fellas.